In today's show, as I've been pointing out, there's nothing but air from $14,000 to a new all-time high. I don't expect any kind of pullback until $28,000 Bitcoin, and it may be short-lived, says Max Kaiser in response to Matt Kay, who wrote, after 14,000, there's literally no coins on the books, only 900 new Bitcoin mined per day. That's $13 million of fresh daily sell side. These are the makings of a sell side liquidity crisis, AKA reflective buying to the upside. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. And while we're on crypto Twitter, we'll be taking a look at some of the latest tweets from some Bitcoin influencers, including Peter Brandt, who just wrote, there is a possibility that Bitcoin could register its highest monthly closing price ever, just a few days and a few hundred dollars away. We have Tyler Winklevoss who wrote, I do think we'll see an all time high price for Bitcoin before 2020 is over. He goes on to share, it hasn't really gone on a breakout run yet. When we start to see three to $5,000 surges, then the bulls will be on the run. Feel the force of scarcity, says plan B of the infamous stock to flow model, always bullish on the king of all crypto and guess what micro strategy is up 100 million dollars in the last two months from their recent bitcoin acquisitions we'll be breaking all this down for you in today's show also in today's episode crypto analyst calls bitcoin the most bullish asset of our time that's right check this out a widely followed crypto trader and influencer says he expects bitcoin to continue rallying and shatter its all-time high in the coming months the pseudonymous trader tells his 231,000 twitter followers that bitcoin is the most bullish asset asset of our time as he believes Bitcoin will blaze through its all-time high of $20,000. That's right. Check this out. The most bullish asset of our time, says the crypto dog, who goes on to share. No idea if we get dips to buy, but good to buy if we do. I'm trading with the mindset that Bitcoin will be $20,000 plus in a matter of months. Now check this out. According to a chart shared by blockchain.com, Bitcoin has meteorically risen from six cents in September 2010 to its current price of around $13,000, representing an increase of of over 26 million 600,000 percent in a span of 10 years. Also in today's episode, the Bitcoin price will follow, says analysts after historically accurate metric hits a new high. Also, we'll be taking a look at the overall crypto market. We just touched 13,800 before breaking back down to where we're currently at, just above 13,100. Most major altcoins are also back in the red, but where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, if interested in tapping into OPM, leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, then smash that link right below this video in the description. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. Let's kick it off by diving into today's most interesting tweets on crypto Twitter, starting with my main man, Max Kaiser, who recently tweeted, as I've been pointing out, there's nothing but air from $14,000 to a new all-time high. I don't expect any kind of pullback until $28,000 per Bitcoin, and it may be short-lived. That's right, he originally said this a few weeks back, and he's reiterating it right now in response to Matt Kay, who just recently tweeted, after $14,000, there's literally no coins on the books, only 900 new Bitcoin mine per day. That's $13 million of fresh daily sell side. These are the makings of a sell side liquidity crisis, aka reflective buying to the upside, as we have all these major institutions scooping up Bitcoin faster than it's being mined. And he included this graph. I'll include all this in the show notes below the video. And while we're talking about Max Kaiser, here's a recent article I covered in greater detail in a previous episode, which is pretty buzzworthy. The Bitcoin price will bolt higher if Biden wins or rise slower with Trump, according to Max. That's right. On the election topic, he goes on to share, a Biden win means a win for corruption in the deep state. So I would expect Bitcoin's price to bolt higher as people panic by unconfiscatable Bitcoin before Biden's socialist jackbooted thugs start confiscating everything in a replay of the 1938 Crystal Knot. And with Trump, the U.S. has a chance at a more orderly tradition to Bitcoin. So the price would move up more slowly. And on the topic of predictions, here's what Max Kaiser went on to share. I've said many times that I think the transition that includes the medium of exchange use case probably comes after Bitcoin starts to push gold out of the store value pitcher around $100,000 per Bitcoin. By the way, a warning to gold bugs bashing Bitcoin. Look what happened to Peter Schiff by not letting Bitcoin change his thinking. He sabotaged himself and appears to be in real trouble. This fate awaits all who mess 
with Bitcoin. And in reference to Peter Schiff, he goes on to share, yes, I predict that the combo of his business failings plus his legal fees will force him to finally succumb to reality and he'll come to Bitcoin with his tail between his legs, begging forgiveness and the timing will be around $50,000 per BTC. Now, another price prediction coming from Max, he often talks about how the Bitcoin price follows the Bitcoin hash rate. So the question asked from Cointelegraph was, what do you think is causing the hash rate versus price lag, which you recently said implies a $35 to $50,000 Bitcoin value. Max responded, the price lag versus the hash rate is due in part to the existence of ish coins that muddy the waters. As Bitcoin dominance climbs, the distracting noise will die off and we'll see a price catch up to the hash rate. Now checking out some of the other influential recent tweets on the Bitcoin price. We had Peter Brandt who tweeted, there is a possibility that Bitcoin could register its highest monthly closing price ever a few days and a few hundred dollars away. Now that magic number we need to close above is $13,880. Let me know if you feel that's likely to happen here in the next few days or not. Drop me a comment right down below. Now checking out this recent tweet from Tyler Winklevoss. I do think we'll see an all-time high price for Bitcoin before 2020 is over. Even though the price has climbed from 10,000 to almost 14,000 in less than a month, it hasn't really gone on a breakout run yet. When we start to see three to $5,000 surges, then the bulls will be on the run. Touche. Now checking out this recent tweet from Plan B. Feel the force of scarcity. Rocket ship to the moon. Bitcoin. I feel it, brother. I feel it. And checking out this response from VJ, dated back July 19th, 2018. He wrote, and thus the Bitcoin event horizon is crossed. It is becomes inevitable that the financial energy of the creaking monetary system is sucked into Bitcoin as matter is sucked into a black hole and cannot escape. And he responded with this. And once again, this is July 19th of 2018. It may not be this year or the next, my friends, but many of you are awakening to the inevitability that our posterity will enjoy a sound monetary system under a Bitcoin standard. And Kevin Rook just recently tweeted, MicroStrategy has earned $78 million in the last three and a half years from their business operations. And MicroStrategy has earned $100 million in the last two months from their Bitcoin purchases. The charts do not lie. MicroStrategy is already up 100 million plus from buying Bitcoin. That's the fact, as you can see right here, their business profits versus BTC profits, which is more lucrative. You tell me, they bought Bitcoin at $11,111.11. And if you love that omen of the number 11, you already know fam, what's good. Now the million dollar question becomes, how many other major companies like Square and MicroStrategy are gonna put Bitcoin on their balance sheets, right? Or get left behind? That, my friend, is the million dollar question. And we have one more tweet we're gonna look at right here from Rao Pao. Bitcoin is eating the world. It has become a super massive black hole that is sucking in everything around it and destroying it. This narrative is only going to grow over the next 18 months. You see, gold is breaking down versus Bitcoin and gold investors will flip to Bitcoin. What will happen to the Bitcoin price when the Bitcoin market cap flips on that $9 trillion gold market cap? You already know, fam, we're talking about at least a half a million dollar Bitcoin, maybe even as much as $1 million per BTC. Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And before I break down our next story of the day, crypto analyst calls Bitcoin the most bullish asset of our time as traders track Ethereum's next move. But first, let's take a look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin, it did touch about 13,800. I thought we may test that 14,000 critical resistance last night, but we broke back down, currently trading just above 13,200, down 1.3% for the day. All the major altcoins are also in the red, as you can see. Ethereum down 3.3%, trading at $390. XRP down 1.2%, trading just above 24 cents. We had BNB down 3%, trading just above $30. Miss Litecoin down 0.3%, trading at $57. Chainlink down a whopping 5% trading at $11.51 and Cardano down 5% trading just below 10 cents. All right, now for our next story of the day. Let's break it down. A widely followed crypto trader and influencer says he expects Bitcoin to continue rallying and shatter its all-time high in the coming months. The pseudonymous trader tells his 231,000 Twitter followers that Bitcoin is the most bullish asset of our time as he believes Bitcoin will blaze through its all-time high of $20,000. I also agree. I feel Bitcoin will likely do this in the fourth quarter here of 2020. He goes on to share the most bullish asset 
asset of our time, as you can see right here on your screen, followed by no idea if we get the dips to buy, but good to buy if we do. I'm trading with the mindset that Bitcoin will be $20,000 plus in a matter of months. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto dog. Now, also, according to this chart on your screen shared by blockchain.com, Bitcoin has meteorically risen from six cents in September of 2010 to its current price of around 13,000, representing an increase of over 26 million 600,000 percent in a span of 10 years. Not too shabby, BTC, not too shabby at all. Meanwhile, gold and the S&P 500 have climbed 103 percent and 233 percent respectively over the same stretch. So which is the better investment? You already know, fam. And while Bitcoin continues to show signs of strength, Ethereum is struggling to maintain its bullish steam as the leading smart contract platform moves below 400. Despite the pullback, top traders in the industry remain long term bullish on Ethereum. Crypto strategist Scott Melker tells his crew of 129,000 that he's ready to buy more Ether if it drops in price all the way down to support of $360. Checking out his tweet right here. Ethereum, approaching my bids, I am interested in the black line as a potential resistance to support flip and slightly below at the EQ of the trading range. Another resistance to support flip is $389 to $395, give or take. If it drops lower, I will buy more down to $360 or so. So there you have it. And crypto trader Rec Capital believes Ethereum is in the phase of consolidating gains. And it's only a matter of time before the second largest crypto resumes its uptrend. He goes on the record to share Ethereum continues to follow Bitcoin while Bitcoin has broken out to new highs. Ethereum has broken back into its previous money flow channel. Ethereum will be range bound between $391 and $434 for now. I expect Ether to resume its catch up to Bitcoin once Bitcoin cools down. While other traders are long term bullish on Ethereum, closely follow trader Don Alt is cautious on Ether as he says the crypto is struggling to move above the monthly resistance of $400. He goes on to share along with this graph in stark contrast to Bitcoin. Ethereum has failed this monthly level and is now finding resistance there. If Ethereum fails to reclaim that resistance this month, I think $270, the next support is more likely than a further upside. So there you have it. Let me know if you're bullish or bearish on Ethereum. And now for our next story of the day. Before I break this down, the Bitcoin price will follow, says analysts after historically accurate metric hits a new high. But first, let's take a look at the overall crypto market cap sitting at $397 billion with $108 billion in volume in the past 24 hours and current Bitcoin dominance still on the climb at 62.5%. How high will we go? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And now checking out the top gainers within the top 100. We have Nexo up 8% trading at 15.7 cents. Compound up 5% trading at $114. Bitcoin Cash up 3.8% trading at $271. And Bitcoin up 0.89% trading at $13,387 according to CoinMarketCap. And now checking out the biggest losers within the top 100. We have ABBC Coin down 23% trading at 37 cents. Reserve Rights down 13% trading at 1.2 cent. Loop Ring down 10% trading just below 14 cents. Quant down 9% trading at $13.43 and Neem down almost 9% trading at 8.9 cents. Now out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers, which particular altcoins are you most bullish on? Drop me a comment right down below. And now checking out the Binance margins, we can see the bears are barely in control, leading with 50.52% shorts versus 49.48% longs. Are you currently bullish or bearish on the king of all crypto? Holla at your boy. And now checking out the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, one of my favorite indicators. Shows we're currently rated a 70 in greed. Yesterday was a 61 in greed. Last week, a 61 in greed as well. And last month, a 43 in fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for correction. All right, and before I break down our final story of the day and we do some Bitcoin technical analysis, first I wanna remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 580 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at Crypto News Yes. Dot com. 
Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video, or if you're listening or tuning in on a different platform outside of YouTube, the direct YouTube link is cryptonewsalerts.net. You can also find us on all the major podcasting platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes. You'll find the links right here in the description. You can also follow us on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook as I am, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy. To join it, click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram as I am, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat. To join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day. Bitcoin has already hit an all-time high this week, according to one price measurement from popular statistician Willie Wu. In a series of tweets on October 27th, Wu added to his recent bullish prognosis on Bitcoin, noting that one valuation of Bitcoin was now higher than ever before. Let's check out this tweet storm, shall we? Willie Wu goes on to share. While we wait for Bitcoin to post an all-time high, both on the monthly chart of $14,000 and the $20,000 prior top, I'll point out that the organic valuation under NVT price from underlying long-term investors is already at an all-time high price will follow. And he included this graph, as you can see right here on your screen. Now, Wu is referring to the Bitcoin's network value to transactions known as the NVT ratio, which aims to suggest that the Bitcoin network is overvalued compared to the actual value of transactions passing through it. As of Tuesday, Bitcoin's organic value based on the NVT had crossed $10,000 for the first time. That's why he says price will follow. And Bitcoin challenges 14,000 as the final resistance. The observation came as the Bitcoin price action showed no signs of bearish corrections, rising to a high as 13,850 just last night, matching the peak of the 2019 bull run. Let's go BTC. As Cointelegraph reported, analysts continue to eye relatively little resistance between 14,000 and Bitcoin's all-time high of $20,000, as I pointed out earlier from Max Kaiser. So should the $14,000 level break, they argue the door is open to fresh highs. Willie Wu goes on to share, in markets when the all-time highs are breached, there's no prior history to go back on. So price discovery swings widely upward, exploring different levels as there's no history to say. That's not valid. So as you can see, everyone is pretty freaking bullish right now on the king of all crypto, as they should be. Are you? Drop me a comment right down below. And now for a quick recap of what I covered with you here in today's show. As Max Kaiser points out, there's really nothing but thin air between $14,000 and a new all-time high. He don't expect any kind of significant pullback till $28,000. And even then, it may be short-lived. Also in today's show, I shared with you that according to Max Kaiser, the Bitcoin price will bolt higher if Biden wins and rise slower with Trump. A little election info for you today. Also in today's show, I shared that crypto analyst calls Bitcoin the most bullish asset of our time. That's right. According to the crypto dog, the most bullish asset of our time. I agree 100%. Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Also in today's show, I shared with you that the Bitcoin price will follow, says analyst after historically accurate metric hits a new high. We're talking about statistician Willy Wu. Also in today's episode, I shared with you some of the latest from some of my favorite influencers who are all extremely bullish on the king of crypto right now. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter if you're not already. I shared some recent polls, one yesterday. When will Bitcoin smash $14,000? And 35% of you said by the end of October. 29% of you said today. And another poll right here. Who's your favorite Bitcoin influencer? 51% of you said Max Kaiser. 23% Anthony Pompliano. 18% Andreas Antonopoulos. And 6.3% the Winklevoss twins. And that's out of 1,700 and 47 votes, only one day left, so don't forget to cast your vote. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go from here? Drop me a comment right down below. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day, so be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right, and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And real quick, before I go, if interested in tapping into OPM, leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, then smash that link right below this video in the description and register for this free system entitled OPM Wealth. You'll be glad you did, and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.